today we're going to go over how to shut down a Philips Gemini PET CT. Okay, first, what we're gonna do is make sure that the caps lock and number lock is off. We are gonna go over to home, go down to service, shut down all. Yes. We're gonna come over here. This right here is the pet CT host. We're gonna do log out. Yes. Shut down. Okay. Now we're gonna wait for both computers to uh, screens to go black. Okay, so all the screens are black now. We're gonna come over here. This is the gantry switch. We're gonna turn it to the off position, straight up and down. I'm gonna let the gantry power off. Okay, the gantry is completely powered off. Okay, next we're gonna find the CIRS server rack. Looks like this servers here. Uh, to turn the servers off, you're going to double tap each toggle switch. Just ensure that all of the servers lights are off. Next, we're gonna to come to the back of the gantry and turn the ACQ comp switch off. That should be the bottom right. And we're gonna let this sit for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Okay, after it's been off for 30 to 60 seconds, we'll turn it back on. Now we're gonna wait for the CT post to power up. And in the meantime, we're going to power up the PET CT host. So after just a couple minutes, both the uh, CT and PET CT host are starting to boot up. Okay, after just a couple minutes, the PET CT host is up and ready, so we're gonna log into the PET host. Once the CT host is all the way to the login screen, we're just gonna log in to the CT host. After just a couple minutes, it'll come up to this licensing agreement. You're just gonna click okay or yes. And the uh, pet CT host came all the way up. And now we're just waiting for the CT host. Okay, so once everything has booted up, you're gonna have this little box. Um, it says you need to close the e-stop. So we're going to come over here. We're going to turn it from the off position to the start position. You'll hear a click. Now if you look in the bottom left of the screen, you should start seeing the CT and table uh, readiness monitors uh, turn green. Now the pet normally stays red for just a couple minutes um, after we start up. There we go. Okay, so now your pet system has been completely shut down and brought back and is ready to go.